Um, all right, you know what? Let's look at the statistics right now. I'll show you guys all of my in-game statistics. I don't think I've done this. I, I think I did this like last year. So it's been a very, very long time. So you guys are going to see. I played this game, as I said, for 10 years. Over 10 years since vanilla, right? Like 13 years, whatever. Here we go. Total gold, total talent tree respects, 255. Total gold acquired, uh, that's 2 million gold. Average gold earned per day, uh, 600. Not very good. Um, actually, that's really, really bad. Holy shit, that's terrible. Um, gold looted is 1 million. Uh, gold from Quest Rewards, four, 400, uh, almost 500,000. Auctions posted, auctions purchased. Uh, I'm running a trade deficit here, as you guys can see. Uh, let's see, what's the rest of this? Gold spent on talent tree respects, 12,000 G. Most gold ever owned. That's whenever I bought that mount right there. You guys fucking remember that. Let's see, bandages often used. Heavy frost weave bandage. Back in Wrath of the Lich King. That's whenever it used to matter if you had bandages. I, was, I, I, I guess that must have been the last time that first aid really mattered. Uh, I, I, now, I, nobody even gives a fuck about it, unfortunately. Uh, Jesus Christ, that's pretty disappointing. Uh, how do you have everything explored? Well, let me see here, okay? Health potions consumed, runic healing potions. So, like, back in the day, Wrath of the Lich King was my fucking time, man. I was using all the consumables that I possibly could, okay? It doesn't exist? Wait, oh yeah, yeah, first aid. Yeah, it's gone now, you're right. Uh, elixir consumed most mad hosen elixir? That was from, wait. Mad hosen? Okay, dude. Uh, yeah, hose mad. Okay, uh, let's see. Flask of Winter's Bite. 700 flasks back in Wrath of the Lich King. Uh, what is this here? Different elixirs used, uh, 19. Flasks consumed, uh, 934. Pearl Milk Tea. Now, there's a story behind this right here. Why is Pearl Milk Tea my highest consumed beverage? Because I would never bring food to the raid. And Pearl Milk Tea was the only thing that I could buy from my yak while I was in the raid that would allow me to gain a food buff that would make it to where the add-on that my raid leader had that would detect if people had food buffs wouldn't go off because it would show me as having a food buff from the Pearl Milk Tea because I didn't want to have to spend money on the, uh, uh, on the, on the whatever the fuck, right? Uh, on the, the food. Different beverages consumed 700, food eaten 900, uh, food eaten the most, roasted cleft hoof. This is from Burning Crusade. I use this during Wrath and also Cataclysm as well because it was cheap. Want to steal that? Yeah, it's a really good idea. Reputations. 101 reputations at Exalted. Apparently there's something, I don't know why I have one that's at one of three. I, like, I think I, oh right, those are the new reps, of course. Now I, I remember that. Okay, now, uh, Northrend Factions, yeah, all this stuff. Okay, uh, epic items owned. Wait, I have more greed rolls than need rolls? Oh, because you're forced to greed roll now. Yeah, you're forced to greed roll. Uh, be, so that, that's actually why. Uh, extra bank service boxes, okay, that, that's easy. Uh, epic items acquired. Wow. 48,000 epic items required. Or acquired, holy shit, that's insane. Uh, I, I didn't know it was that many. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go around this way. We'll, we'll try and do, do this here. Okay. Yeah, we're trying to get out of here, but it's not working. Okay, so combat. Damn. Largest hit ever dealt. What is this? Wait, 300 million? Jesus Christ. And apparently sometime I got hit for 20 million. How the fuck does that even happen? Yeah, the quest, it's from Legion. It must have, yeah, it must have been for, yeah, Nepuon or something like that. Probably Argus Killshot. I, I don't even fucking know. 3 million though, or 300 million? Yo, drop pop the fuck off. Okay, kills. Uh, total kills. 200, wait, what is this here? 2.7 million. Total kills the grand experience or honor. Uh, 1.3 million. So usually most of my kills are dishonorable. Uh, different creature type killed 10, okay. Creature type killed the most humanoid, obviously. Uh, let's see, I guess I'm a murderer. Uh, 2v2 arena honorable kills. 3v3. Wait, I've done more threes than twos? 
See, back in the day, guys, I used to farm the fuck out of AV with everything else. All right, that, that's all there is to it. Anyway, let me look at the rest of this. Uh, Alterac Valley, honorable kills. Warsong Gulch, honorable kills. Isle of Conquest, 200,000 honorable kills. Or 2,000 honorable kills. Uh, let's see, what's the battle battleground I've done the least? Battle for Gilneas. Thank God. I fucking hate Battle for Gilneas. Actually, you know what? I, I mean, I hate Arathi Basin the most, and I guess I don't like Deepwind Gorge. So it's probably like, yeah, Arathi is the worst, Deepwind is the second, and probably I'd say, yeah, Isle of, Isle of, uh, sorry, I have the Swarm. I don't like I have the Swarm either. Content with the most killing blows, Northrend. So back in it. Ooh, Battleground with the most killing blows, Warsong Gulch. So you guys see that right there? That's your boy popping off. Uh, Arathi is the best. Listen. Do I have to explain this again? Okay. All right, I'm gonna, I, I will explain it very, very quickly, and then we're gonna go back to this, all right? I wanna go to the next song here. I don't wanna listen to this song. What should we listen to here? Scrolling down, I'm trying to find something good. I like this song, even though it's a normie song. Here's why a Arathi Basin sucks dog dick. Back in Vanilla WoW, let's just look at point A to point B as, let's say, uh, stables to blacksmith. In Burning Crusade, sorry, in Vanilla WoW, a player that was trying to go from stables to blacksmith, it would take them, let's say, 10 seconds. Now, and that's if they're on a mount. Now, it would take them nine or eight seconds because mounts go faster. On top of that, if you go into water with your mount just a little bit, that doesn't make your mount stop moving. Or sorry, it doesn't dismount you. So that makes you even able to get there faster. Now, let me continue this, all right? Everybody just follow along. Now let's look at unmounted speed between point A and point B. A player in Vanilla WoW that was trying to go from point A to point B without using their mount, it would take them, let's say, 20 seconds. Now, it would take them maybe five, or let's like, say seven. Like, think of like my warrior right now. There are multiple abilities that my character has that allow me to close distance much more quickly that I didn't have access to during Vanilla WoW or Burning Crusade. Now also, all right, so basically what I'm saying is that people can reinforce bases faster in Rathi Basin than they used to be able to. Now that's point one. Point two is the uh, abundance of AOE abilities. Now, Arathi Basin has five different bases, which means that if you are able to like just AOE down a different base, right? You're able to AOE down a different base. There's almost a 0% chance that anybody is going to be able to cap that flag unless they're fucking stupid. So it creates a, it creates a system of everybody just AOEing the flag while they're spam clicking on it. So I the... The meta of defending flags in Arathi Basin is just effectively AoEing, AoEing, AoEing over and over and over. Now, also, let's combine the view distance that was accessible in Vanilla WoW versus the view distance that's accessible now. Because the view distance in Vanilla WoW never even allowed you to sometimes target the players that were in different bases, you were never able to make a distinguished, uh, sorry, a distinct decision as to whether there were actually enough people at a different base for you to have to go over there and defend it yourself. But now, since everybody just immediately knows, the fights are much more fair and there's much less turnaround with the bases because people immediately know what's going to happen. But beforehand, you used to have to worry and watch out for your, your teammates and you used to have to listen to them. So the point that I'm trying to make is that Arathi Basin used to be a very good BG, but the way the game works now with AOE abilities, view distance, and also movement makes Arathi Basin a spam fest, boring, and stressful. So I think that it's a very, very bad battleground now, because the game has changed. Okay, long walk on this one. Well, sometimes you gotta go for, uh, sometimes you gotta go for a run, man. Like, I mean, listen, it's actually true I didn't agree first. No, I, I mean, like, well, if you tried it in vanilla, you didn't like it either. I, I, I don't like Arathi Basin, right? But it's the difference between stepping in dog shit and eating dog shit. Stepping in dog shit is playing Arathi Basin in vanilla WoW. Eating dog shit is playing it now. Okay, one is absolutely worse than the other.
Okay, let me go ahead. Uh, I'll look at the rest of my uh, my statistics here, okay? Let's keep going. Obviously, you guys see here, 3v3 arena killing blows. I'm popping off. Uh, Arathi Basin killing blows. It's a bloodbath in there, man. Let me tell you. Uh, let's see. What's the rest of these? All right, just more killing blows here. That doesn't really matter. Deaths. Total deaths. 45,000. Destin 2v2, 2,000. Destin 3v3, 1775. I never die in 3v3. Deaths in Alterac Valley, let's see here. Deaths in all, all right. So as you can see here, this is another correlating variable that leads to my dislike of this BG. I didn't even notice this before. I never saw this. Yeah, this is why I hate it. I've, I have more deaths in, Alter, deaths in Alterac Valley than I do in any other BG in the entire game. And, and apparently I've never died, I've only died to Drek'thar 20 times. And I never died, I've died the least in Battle for Gilneas, which makes sense, because I'm a god at that BG. Uh, dungeons, what dungeon have I run the most? Okay, let's see, deaths from Drowning, deaths from Hogger. I have never died from Hogger, but I have drowned 18 times. I've died from fatigue. I've died from falling. We added a few counts onto that, uh, th this, this metric right here. Deaths from fire and lava, 69. Looks like I can't die from fire or lava again. There we go. Yeah, I count first possible. Exactly. Saber metric. All right, we'll keep going. Resurrected by priests, resurrected by druids. Okay, apparently druids, I play with them a lot. Uh, yeah, there you go. Druids, uh, spirit returned to body by shamans, resurrected by soul stones 48 times. Quests. Quest completed, 23,303. Average quest completed per day, almost six. That's a big fucking number. Average daily quest completed per day, 2.9. Quests abandoned, 4,000. I don't, I don't like to give up, but sometimes I have to. Dungeons and Raids. Lich King, five man boss, defeated the most the Black Knight, Flame Leviathan, and Yogg Saren. What can I say? I spent a long time farming the, uh, Memoron's head. Witch King random normal dungeons completed, only two of them. I don't know why I would have ever queued for a normal dungeon in a Lich King, but that's okay. Pandaria dungeons, Trial of the King. Shaw of Anger, I have killed 27 times, or sorry, 127 times. Uh, Draenor dungeon, boss to be the most, Witherbark. Wait, who's Witherbark? Oh yeah, because I was doing a farming method. That's the first boss in Everbloom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Draenor raid boss completed the most, 210 Archimon kills. Think about that. 210 kills for that same fucking mob over and over and over and over and over. And I did it. Uh, I know that might sound ridiculous. That's because it basically is. But, uh, I mean, there you fucking go. I, I was doing this a lot. Yeah, a true fucking nerd. Okay, let's see here. Legion Dungeons completed final boss defeat 33. Uh, let's see. Oh, what's this little parenthesis? Legion Dungeon boss defeated the most. I guess it doesn't even tell me. Uh, Legion Raid boss defeated the most. Yeah, Blizzard, you know, they stopped paying attention too much to this. Uh, classic, I've, I've killed Mutinous the Devourer once. I've never killed Akumai in Black Fathom Deeps, or Mechinger of Thunderblug, or, uh, uh Amimnar the Coldbringer. I probably should actually go kill them, uh, just to show it. Okay, so that's all classic. Uh, Onyxia kills 110. Osiren, 33. 70 Rag kills. 80 Nefarian kills. 47 Sea Thun kills. Look at this, 11 General Dracosoth kills before it was removed from the game. For Burning Crusade, never killed Omar the Unscarred. I guess he's unscarred. Go run him? Yeah, okay, let's see what's the rest of these. Alright, now for the raids. Um, let's see. Illidan Storm Raid. Wait, what the fuck? How have I killed Illidan 163 times? Glaives? Well, I, I knew I killed him, like, maybe... There's no way, because I remember, like, whenever I killed Illidan, I only had, like, 50 kills. Cat a dungeon? No, there's no way. Um, Lord Graves, time walking? No, I only did time walking Illidan, like, three times. Farming for pets? Like, maybe, but I, I don't know. I don't remember doing that. Kill Jaden, I've killed 65 times. 
65 KJ kills. That's fucking insane. Uh, Kale Thos killed him 50 times. Bosch, 47. Magtherodon, 22. Gruel, 34. Pretty simple there. I killed Zul Jin 11 times. All right, let's look at Wrath of the Lich King. This is whenever I started actually raiding a lot. Okay, let's scroll all the way up here. Oh, it's all 10 man and 25 man. Yeah, look at all these uh, look at all these raid boss kills right here. Look at that. Emelon, Algoan, 31 kills. 60 Yogg kills. 56 Flame Leviathan kills. Freya killed 50 times. Look at this. 70 kills on XTD Constructor. 74 Flame Leviathan. This is actually insane. I didn't know it was this many. Saffron, 47 times. Patchwork, 40 times. Not 44 times. Uh, when I did Black Tunnel Time on your first time around, bug the armory for everyone, and it gave people multiple kill credits. Uh, I guess that must have been it, because there's no way I killed the Wooden genuinely that many times. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's basically all the Wrath ones. Uh, are there any in the triple digits? No, they're not. How many times have I killed the Lich King on 25-man Heroic? Let me see. Um, the Lich King 20... Oh, 58 Lich King kills. Holy shit, I thought it was a lot less than that. But uh, I guess I've killed him 58 times. All right, Cataclysm, let's look at that. So I used to raid a lot in Cataclysm back in the day. Let's see, so uh, Simant, Lost City of Tolbir, 25 kills. Uh, Omnitron Defense System, Omnitron Heroic Blackwing Descent kills 53 times. Meloriac, 50 times. Atromedes, 50 times. Chimuron, 50 times. Nefarian, 47 fucking times. And now we go into, let's go into Firelands here. I lived in Firelands, okay? Ragnaros Heroic Kills, 60. Major Domo uh, fucking this guy, 61. Alice Razor, 64. 67 Lord Ryleth, 68 Beth Talak. Alakir, 82. I, I kept trying to kill Alakir for the mount, that's why it's so hot. Uh, Alice Razor, yeah, that's right. Let's see, and now we'll look at uh, Dragon Soul. Our Bishop Benedictus. Wait, I've killed this guy. What the fuck? Oh, uh, it's probably bugged out. Yeah, I know I've killed him. Uh, look at this. Deathwing kills in Dragon Soul 73 times. That was back in the day whenever I would stream at 3 a.m. or 5 a.m. trying to do Dragon Soul every single night to get the Deathwing mount. Uh, the Blazing Drake. It was a long, long time, okay? Ultraxian, 63. Yorsage, 67. Morchok, 68. Let's look at Mr. Pandaria. Where's Garrosh? 55 times? 24 times on 25 heroic? Holy shit, I didn't even know it was that many. God damn! Uh, any mounts you've given up grinding for? No, I haven't. Uh, I, I never give up grinding for any- Are you gonna visit Ashara's Eternal Palace entrance? Secret entrance? Yes, I am. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Probably, uh, I'm gonna watch the Quarter Rings video that he made about me. And, uh, then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and take a look at the secret entrance. And then maybe we'll do a transmog comp after that. Uh, it's been a while, and I think it's about time to, uh, to get one done. Uh, I, I think people deserve it. Each of those boss kills, it goes one hair on your head gone. Uh, actually, that's probably accurate. Uh, let's see here. Um, 50 kills on General Nazgrim. That's insane. I didn't know it was that many. Galacrass, 52 kills. Let's see. What about the other previous raids? Uh, Raiden, uh, 37 kills. So you guys have watched me do every single one of these Throne of Thunder raids. You guys you see here, all these numbers. You guys have seen every single one of them. Because I would just run Throne of Thunder every single stream. I'm actually almost done with all the gear in Throne of Thunder, so I won't even need to worry about that anymore. Like, I actually need to, I've been thinking about doing, like, every week, doing, like, just a pure WoW completionist stream. Where, like, all I do is farm items. Like, maybe, like, once a week or once every other week. And I just, like, fucking just go big dick into farming items. Raiden? Yeah, 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 Raiden. Okay, let's see what I've got here. Alright, next. Uh, show your bank, please. Uh, I'll show my bank maybe after, uh, after we go to the entrance. Uh, I haven't shown my bank in a long time. Okay, let's see here. Tordos kills... How have I died to snails 27 times? Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. No, man. I thought it was like, like three or something. 
Holy shit. Uh, don't you have achievements to grind? I have a lot, man. I have a lot of things to grind. Okay, Wad of Draenor. Let me look at Wad of Draenor. Okay, so I used to... I, I played a lot in Wad. Holy shit, look at this. Uh, Gertrude, well, I guess a lot of this was probably just for transmog, though. Uh, high skier, uh, high sage barracks, uh, 29 kills. Not really a big deal there. Uh, a lot of these are basically in the 20s to get all the items. And, uh, then we'll go Ore Gorger. Let's look at Blackhand. Blast Furnace. 21 Blast Furnaces. Now, also, Somebody used to tell me, I remember one time I was doing Blast Furnace and somebody came into my stream and they said to me, every single time that I come into your stream, you're doing Blast Furnace. I was like, there's no way that's true. Actually, it basically was. Pretty much was true. It's all, all I used to do was Blast Furnace. I would do Blast Furnace every single fucking time. Uh, Mad XP, bro? Yeah, I know. It was insane. Uh, okay, uh, Chroma kills, uh, 34. Uh, let's see, what's it, 81 Warlord Blackhand kills? Holy, oh, that's right, I would do the mountain giveaways. We used to do those all the fucking time, man. I forgot even all about that. Man, we would do these mountain giveaways constantly. And I wish that we had, uh, we had more of that now, but, uh, I guess it's not really a big thing anymore. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, I wish it was. Uh, yeah, how many Shattered Halls? Uh, I don't remember, honestly. Uh, but yeah, we should do more of those mount giveaways. I'll figure out a way to do that soon. Mythic Hellfire Assault 34. I, I rated HFC a lot, uh, honestly. Let's see here. Scrolling all the way down here. Archimon kills on Heroic and Mythic. 90 and 94. I spent a lot of time doing Archimon. Uh, this is like back whenever I would do the mount giveaways for Archimon and Mana Rock too. All right, now we'll go into Legion. 43 Eye of Ashara kills. 42 Shade of Xavius kills. Uh, Cordana, 57. Helia defeats. Two hundred and twelve. And Advisor Melandros, one hundred and eighty-eight. I, I don't even know what to say, man. It's it's been a lot of them, okay? Yeah, it's been fucking insane. Hmm. Sad thing is I have more. There's a lot of people that do. Okay, what's the rest of these here? Uh, Ilganoth kills 32. Uh, Ursoc kills 31. Dragons of Nightmare, 32. Let's go all the way down here. Scorpron, let's look at Mythic Gul'dan. How many times have I killed Mythic Gul'dan? 32 times. 32 motherfucking times. That's a lot of Gul'dan kills. God damn. Uh, I didn't know it was that many. Mythic Tomb of Sargeras, five KJ kills. And I've already killed him too many times. Trust me, killing KJ once on Mythic is too much. Like, that boss is so fucking stupid. I hate that boss so much, man. It's literally the worst boss in the game. Okay, what about this here? Garathi Worldbreaker. How many times have I killed Mythic, uh, uh, Mythic Argus? 14 times. Still no scythe, man. What a dog shit fucking game. And BFA, let's finish off BFA. So, not a lot of raids in BFA. Uh, Unbound Abomination, I've killed him but 21 times. And, uh, yeah, obviously only the mount bosses here. Uh, I've apparently never done Mother Load on normal mode. Yeah, BFA is, uh, pretty sparse, guys. Sorry to say, but, uh, there it is. Three, two, that's more than half of a, of a year dedicated to killing this boss. That's about right. Well, I used to do raids for it all the time, okay? And, uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, Professions Learn 2. Cooking skill is max. Uh, cooking daily quest completed 67. Need to do two more of them, apparently. Uh, first aid skill. Actually, my first aid skill is zero because you took it out of the game, Blizzard. Uh, fish caught. 13,000 fish. I'm serious about these fish. 69, nice. Yeah, dude. Uh, let's see. Highest alchemy skill, blacksmithing, highest enchanting skill. I used to actually do enchanting back in the day. Uh, let's see. Uh, materials earned from disenchanting. 51, uh, sorry, 5,000. Five, 5, uh, items disenchanted, 200. All this stuff is just pretty much nothing. Travel, flight paths taken. 16, there you go, dude, right there. Mages, mostly portals to Stormwind. I've hearthed uh, almost 4,000 times, and I've got summoned almost 3,000 times. That's how lazy I am. Social. Number of hugs, 72. 
Number of face palms, zero. Number of times playing the world's smallest violin, zero. Times lulled, 79. Total cheers, 449. And total waves, 421. Player versus player. Let's look at here. Total deaths from the other players, total deaths from the opposite faction. I've only died to the Horde 7,000 7, times. That's it. A out of years of playing this game, I've only died 7,000 times. That's how good I am. Do the first face palm? No. No. Uh, arenas won and arenas played. As you guys can see, my arena win ratio is positive. This is about like, let's say, what, what ratio is that? It's about, uh, I don't know, like 59%, uh, something like that, 58%. Uh, pretty high. Actually, it could be more like, that's more like 65% almost. Yeah, e either way, I, I win a lot of, uh, a, a lot of my arenas, okay? Not even 60%, 62? That's pretty damn close then. Yeah, there you go. 33.3 repeating, of course. Okay, just a second. All right, 3v3 matches, 3v3 victories, 5v5. Positive win ratio in 5v5. 3v3 matches, 3v3 victories. Positive win ratio in 3v3. 2v2 matches, 2v2 victories, positive win ratio in 2v2. So I win most of my games here. Except for Circle of Blood. Oh wait, no, I do win most of my games in Circle of Blood. Every single, every single one of these I win. Circle of Blood probably has like my lowest win ratio though. Let's see, Trial of Valor or a Ring of Valor. I remember that, BG. Highest five man personal rating, 2k. Highest three man, 2.7. Highest two man, 2.2. And that's my team rating right there. I, I have a very, very high team rating, as you guys can see. Battlegrounds played. Oh, oh, you guys are going to look at this right here, okay? Look how good I am. Battlegrounds played, 4,800. Battlegrounds won, 3,100. Somebody do the math on that right there for me. It's looking like I win about, uh, if I had to guess, sixty-four percent. Uh, let, let's see, sixty-four percent. Let me let me do the math here, okay? Uh, calculator. Um, let's see, what is it here? Um, eight one six. Close. Uh, how do I even do? I, I, I've actually I haven't done math in so long for this. I don't even know how to fucking make it a, a percentage. Uh, just a second. Yeah, what is it? It's sixty five. Yeah. What do I do? Just a second. Sixty five percent. Yeah, I, I I haven't done math in so long. I'm trying to remember what it would be. Sixty five percent. Okay. So you guys are all calling me stupid, right? Y'all are calling me stupid. But meanwhile, I just I, I just randomly guessed what the number would be, and I was 1% off. So that's how math I am. You want to talk shit about that? Yeah. 65%. I said 64. Get mad. Get fucking mad. Okay, just a second. War Song Gold. All right, All Track Valley, All Track Valley uh, Battles, uh, 494. All Track Valley Victories, uh, 300. So I have a positive win ratio in every single BG. What is this here? Oh, wow. Holy shit. Whoa. It's a new raid. Holy fuck. Okay, let's let's do it. Let's let's zone in, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's just get. Let's get the world first to Shara right now. Ah, uh, shit, man. Oh, it's oh, it's on Mythic. Okay, let me put it back on normal. Okay, let's go. Alrighty, where is it? Uh, it's right here. It says it's not available yet. Okay, Blizzard cucked us. Damn, I, I thought we were gonna be able to get in there. Okay, just a second. All right, let me go to the rest of these. Uh, Arathi Basin battles and victories. I have a positive win win ratio, right? Seething shore battle. Look at this right here. Seething shore battles. Seething shore victories. Ninety percent win ratio. Seething shore. That's how good. 
That's how good. I have the Storm uh, battles versus victories. I have a positive win ratio. A, a large positive win ratio. Wait, what? Yeah, wait, what? Wait, I... <laughs> what? That's how good <laughs> that's how good I am. What can I say, guys? I don't even need to be there to win. I just win. Strand of the Ancients. Twin Peaks battles and victories. Look at that. I win almost every single game that I play of Twin Peaks. I've done over 500 games. Warsaw and Gulch, <clears throat> you know, we're not really doing too well on there. Uh, Silver Shard Mines victories. Look at that. I've only lost 80 Silver Shard Mines. I've won 200. Temple of Kantmogu, I'm winning all the time. Every BG I play, I'm winning. All Track Valley's defended, 200. Battle for Wintergrass victories. Okay, I guess that's bugged. Because I know I've won like a million of those too. Uh, rated Battleground won the most. Twin Peaks. Look at this right here. Weighted, weighted Battleground. Rated. Uh, just a second. All right. Rated Battlegrounds played 1,100. Or sorry, 1,073. Rated Battlegrounds won 772. So my win rate for RBGs is like 70%. Like that. That's how many I win. Look at this right here. Twin Peaks battles, Twin Peaks victories. I never lose. I, I, I forgot, actually, this is like such a, an ego boost for me to look at these numbers. Look at this right here. Duels won, duels lost. See that? Like a 70% win rate in duels. And probably half of the duels I lost, I let the other per I probably let the other person win. Uh, that, that's why I would assume. That's probably why, uh, I, you know, they, they, it's not higher. But, uh, yeah, somewhere around there. i probably let them win. Uh, absolutely. Okay, let's see here. Next. What's your, uh, 360 no-scope count? A lot of them. Pet Battles. Vanity Pets owned 470. Pet Battles won at max level 2,700. Celestial Tournament wins 10. Pet Battles won with a maximum of all 25 pets 937. Proving Grounds. Who cares? Class Order Hall. Who cares? Garrison. Who cares? Uh, Fusion Heroic. Thank you for the thousand bits. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hakar kills. ZG was 11 kills. Badges of Justice obtained 668. Gold challenge ratings earned 29. Holy shit, man. Those are my, uh, my statistics right there, as you guys can see. Quartering made it.